This is something that I never thought you would be able to see over the period of just a few hours. That is actually the sun rotating. Now the sun rotates about once a month, give or take, but I never thought you'd be able to see it over, it, it's about four hours this time lapse. So as you can see, I'm, I'm getting better at this. Uh, I've now got a fairly decent polar alignment on the telescope. And the big issue here is it gets brighter in this region, which I think is actually, as the sun gets higher in the sky, the atm or the atmosphere gets clearer or something, there's a change in how much light's getting to the telescope, which is sort of saturating it out in this region. Uh, so th th there's some room for improvement here, but there is so much that goes on on the surface of the sun. So first of all, you've got these, these prominences, which I previously incorrectly referred to as flares. So the surface of the sun is has these magnetic cells and stuff can get trapped in the, the field lines there and as these things rotate and what whatnot, uh, that gets a lot hotter, which is why you get these, these prominences. However, if you get two of those cells colliding in just the right way, which is a really rare event, you get these massive increases in... Uh, energy uh, which are much brighter and those are called flares so these are prominences and the guys uh, if you get a prominence on the front here it's called a filament so this is a filament here now uh, this is actually much better than what you'd see at the eyepiece so what i'm doing here is i'm taking about 200 frames and combining them to make one frame like this which is much better resolution and I'm taking about a frame every second, so it's about 200 seconds, about three minutes. So watch the mass go down the filament here. So what, what you're actually looking at here is you're looking at one of these guys, but you're looking at it from on top. And you see it goes back and forth a huge distance down the filament in the period of about 10 frames. That's about half an hour or so. And there are also some other really cute little guys. Let's see if we can find him. Where is he? There he is. All right, so what's, what's this one here? Just here. See this? Keep your eye there. Whee! Let's get right in the middle so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. This guy here. And so that's uh, less than... It's about 15 minutes, that one. And at the same time, you'll see there's another, yeah, this one up here, right on the rib, rim here. Uh, what's here? And your little hopper. He just hops from one pole to the other. A little mass ejection. Isn't that cute? Isn't that okay? Whee! Um, so with some of the others, there there is some movement and some of them are fast. I mean, watch this guy. He's like one or two frames. He's not there, not there. He's there, and then he basically is gone again. Uh, but then down, uh, I've, I've actually already sort of zoomed in to even out the frames a bit. Watch this guy here. I've actually got enough um, on the full frame to actually zoom in on that guy. And if we do that, whee! So again, this is, it's about 10 frames. Yeah, so some of it's pretty static, but other stuff on the surface of the sun can move. That's an amazing, yeah, three minutes per frame. And, and this is just the sort of nothing special rim of the sun. There's, this is a normal day. Uh, it is. And the Earth, oh god, the Earth, the, the Earth is tiny like this, it, it's that sort of size. Uh, so almost any feature that you can see on the surface of the Sun is much bigger than the Earth, and it's going that distance in, in you know, a few minutes. So yeah, that's... Um, and you, you could zoom in on, on some of these, they're doing some quite interesting stuff. Yeah, look at that. So, cool. Um, 
I'm getting to the point where ah, uh, if I get a really good video like this, um, I'm putting it up on, on putting it up on my main channel. But I've, I've got to say, I, I'm just loving this. There is so much donkey work involved in doing this, but it's beautiful. And just watching the mass go along the filaments. Cool, so I hope you enjoyed that. Give it a thumbs up if you did and uh, drop a like on this video.